When sedimentary rocks are being formed, plants and animal skeletons can get trapped in the layers to form fossils. Even dinosaur footprints can be preserved in this way. These are giant trees that have turned to stone. Now it's pretty obvious that there were uh, giant pine forests somewhere nearby. With some trees, judging by the length of these trunks here, they were over 75 meters high. Now you look around, there's not a tree in sight. We know that there were Native American Indian tribes that lived in this area, and they used to build their houses, make arrowheads and other tools from this material. And they traded it to other tribes for things that they needed that they couldn't find. Hi, may I help you? Oh, hi, my name's Bill. I'm with the Arizona Film Commission. Uh, hi, Paula. I'm a ranger here, and I'm yes. taking on your permit. Paula, I checked with the ranger station when I came in. I'm working with a client from overseas that's uh, uh, attempting to do a documentary on fossils and geology. And I couldn't think of a better place to start than right here. Oh, this is a great place to see fossils. You know, I grew up not far from here, and I've been through here uh, hundreds of times. But I've never really understood what made these trees turn to stone. Could you explain that to me? Sure. Like this one right here? This huge area was once um, a large basin mm -hmm. that had a river system coming through it. So these didn't grow here? That's correct. They were brought down into this area by that river system. Oh, I see. These logs were then buried by the sediments that also came down the river system during the flooding times. And this covering of sediment kind of suspended these trees and they didn't deteriorate very quickly because there wasn't a lot of oxygen available. This is altered volcanic ash. This mixed with the sediments that covered the trees. Uh, volcanic ash also provided the silica or the mineral that penetrated the trees that finally caused the trees to uh, petrify. The silica would fill the cells of the tree and, and then harden, eventually making a almost perfect cast of the trees. Well, that's much like fossils are found. The, the same thing happens with fossils then. Very right? much the same, especially in this park. And these are actually fossils? These are fossils, yes. Is there a place that we could actually see these trees, petrified trees, in, still in the sedimentary rock? Yes, uh, just up the road a few miles is a place called Battleship Rock. And it got its name because there are petrified trees coming out the sides that look like guns on a boat.